What's going on guys? Once again, thank you for everyone who bought a course, bought training. There's some more stuff that's coming later this month. And also, thank you to the Nerd Tribe. I was watching, I, I posted a video on B-School for Hustlers and why you're not going to make six figures in six months. And most of the commentary in the comments were overwhelmingly positive. However, there was this one person who had a problem with the video. It's like, why place limitations on yourself? Let's soar. And that brought up this video. Why we need to get away from the raw, raw stuff about how to get money because I'm going to give you guys some wisdom, guidance, and insights on the raw, raw movement because the raw, raw movement is huge. It is huge. Now, how do you know if you're watching raw, raw content? First of all, there's an overwhelming emphasis on the money. I have literally clicked on YouTube ads and sat through their presentation and literally the first 20 the first 30 minutes was about the money you can make, testimonials, examples. Here's Lizzie from Kansas. She's making $10,000 a month. And they never actually get to the mechanics of what you have to do to make that money. That is a surefire sign that you're watching raw, raw content. And raw, raw content is epidemic because I've literally seen so many videos like claim it, just claim it, just claim it. Who's going to have a new house? Who's going to be a millionaire next year? Raw, raw content. They want to evangelize you, get you hyped, get you motivated. And it's a psychological marketing tactic that isn't rooted in any real world examples. So what we really need to, cause here, here's the problem. Let's say that you are watching a lot of raw, raw content. You are essentially wasting a lot of time that because here's what raw rock content will convince you of that you can make a staggering amount of money in a very short period of time with no foundational efforts with no preparation efforts with no personal change that you could go ahead as you are with your bad habits your short attention span and you can go ahead and get into this new hack. I, I saw this, I saw this uh, YouTube commercial that was talking about, in, in the same commercial, because I listen and I listen very well. The guy said that this secret skill, he never talked about what this skill was, has been around for 1500 years, okay? And then shortly after that, he said this new wave this new technology that wealthy business owners literally want to throw cash at you. So here's this skill that's been around for 1500 years, but it now there's this new billion dollar opportunity, this new billion dollar industry. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So you got this 1500 year old skill set to apply to this brand new billion dollar industry. And this, this is the thing. If you, cause here's the thing here, here's one of the big things that they're able to manipulate you is you don't know any better. Going back to my proclamation that Carl Renfield is not a billionaire. I know he's not a billionaire. I'm willing to put money on it. Right. But, the average person and part of the 
Carl Renfield's story is the rah-rah content. There are so many people who truly believe that they could become a billionaire in two or three years with crypto. All I have to do is buy the right crypto. Now, are there crypto billionaires? Absolutely. And many of these crypto, you know, and this is something that I, I've seen. The majority of the crypto billionaires were crypto millionaire. Well, they were millionaires before they got into crypto. Because here, here's the thing. You can't invest like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates, or you can't gamble like Michael Jordan. It is real documented that Michael Jordan likes to gamble. Michael Jordan could go on gambling and lose a million dollars in one night, and it will not financially impact him whatsoever. He's not gonna have to sell the mansion, he's not gonna have to sell the cars, because Michael Jordan has close to $100 million a year coming in. So you cannot invest or, you know, like these billionaires, because Bill Gates, Bill Gates can deploy a billion dollars into an investment, and the investment goes sideways. Oh well, Bill gonna still be Bill Gates. Bill's gonna still live in the mansion. Bill's gonna still eat steak. So this is one of the things that I've seen in the rah-rah content. Billionaires do it, why not you? Simple, easy reason why not you is you don't have the money. <laughs> You don't have the money because I, I see a lot of people who are investing the rent money, the car payment money, the student loan money, and the credit card money in what's called a short term play in hopes that it appreciates in 30 days. You have people out here doing this crazy, stupid, uh, over the top, dumb stuff based upon rah-rah content. And once again, we need to get away from the aspirational. You know, I don't watch motivational videos because I don't need to. I act upon my determination. And we need to get more practical and technical versus aspirational. Because here's something else. I've mentioned this video before, you can go to it. Uh, how to start a cargo van video for 300 bucks. The video when I found it had 160,000 views. It is close to, I think it's like 400,000, close to half a million views. And here's the thing, it's purely aspirational. It's purely, you can do this. It, but here's the thing, it doesn't work. And early when this aspirational video was posted, there were people in the comments who were saying, hey, I tried to do this and these cargo vans are like 1600 bucks a week. It doesn't work. But here's the thing, and this is a big, big problem with YouTube. You can have what I like to call garbage content. This is content that is not helpful, does not serve a purpose, will not help you in your life. But if you hit the algorithm correctly, what that means is that enough people watch this rah-rah content and then YouTube will distribute that content to new people, therefore more views to worthless garbage content that actually doesn't work. And this is the, um, like I said, rah-rah content is epidemic. It is all over the place. And it is, because here, here's the thing, here's the opportunity cost of consuming rah-rah content. Because you're consuming rah-rah content and because it has inoculated a certain ideal in your mind that you will waste so much time on this rah-rah content versus actually sitting down 
and doing something practical and technical because the rah-rah content has convinced you, you, that you, a regular person, regular person, can literally go from being a broke bartender, being a single mother with three kids, living in a van, and with from that from that point, right? From that point, six months into the future, you could be a millionaire. So why work hard? Why prepare yourself? Why do these things when with the raw raw content has inoculated you with a lie? It has put in your head that you can become fantastically wealthy doing little or nothing. You don't have to change. You don't have to have no money. You don't have to have good credit. Oh man, how many videos here on YouTube talking about you can get a $100,000 credit card with bad credit? Like all of these banks that are in business to make money are lining up to throw credit, to throw cash at people with bad credit records. Saying it out loud, it makes no sense. But the rah-rah content will convince you that you, with bad credit, you can go out and get you an aged corporation and you can get $500,000 worth of business funding in six months. That's the rah-rah content. And I'm going to say this, anyone that is pushing an aged corporation for credit funding is intentionally lying to you. Anyone that is pushing an age corporation, because I'm a business owner right now, and I'm gonna say this, going forward in the next 24 months, you're not gonna be able to get out a business credit product without linking your business checking account or showing tax returns for any business crop. That's coming, that's coming. And right now, there are people out here convincing you that you can go out and get a Paydex, get you some Granger, some Uline, and some other net 30s. That used to be the case. I've actually done that, but the landscape has changed. You cannot get a liquid credit product. A liquid credit product would be a credit card or a business line of credit or a business loan where you can get that cash. You cannot get those in significant amounts. Now there are no doc programs, but guess what? You gotta have an outstanding credit score to get the no doc funding. And most no doc funding caps out at 20 to $50,000. Um, there is a Bank of America, no, Wells Fargo loan where it's like the limit is 100K, but most people who apply for it, once they state their income, because these are stated income loans, they're not gonna get anywhere close to the money that has been presented in the video. Raw, raw content, this girl talking about, I got an America's Best Business Platinum card. I have a $500,000 limit. That is a 100% lie because I, have an American Express business platinum. And this is how American Express works. American Express will give you, you have a limit. They'll say no preset spending limit. What it is, the American Express thing is elastic. You know, been, depending upon how you spend and how you pay, it can go up or it can come down. But guarantee you have a limit with American Express uh, for charge cards. And she's like, I have $500,000. I'm like, all right, I got M's in the bank. I've got excellent credit. And I don't have a $500,000 credit limit with my American Express Business Platinum. Maybe 100K because I had to link my bank accounts to get that card. But the reality is this raw, raw content is pressed upon and aimed at the average man because that's the largest consumer base, right? So it's aimed at you 
from an intentional standpoint to get use you to get views and not to actually help you change your situation. So once again, I'm getting ready to get to some practical, technical, realistic content that's going to lose a lot of you people who are looking for the rah, rah evangelistic. Um, I can't, I can't do that. I just simply can't do that. I know better. I, I just know better. So if you're watching and consuming raw, raw content and you've been watching and consuming raw, raw content for three, four, five, six, seven years and your life hasn't changed, I think it's time for you to do some self reflection. All right. So to help you guys level up for real, I got some new training. I'm going to shape it up. I'm going to get it together before I announce it. But if you go ahead and buy the program, link's going to be in the first comment. You will get this new training. Give me some time to send out some emails and I will go ahead and let you guys know what is coming. And it will not be any of this rah, rah, claim it, claim it. It won't be none of that crap because that, that crap's not going to help you. It's just simply not going to help you. That's just designed to gas you up, to get you to come to a conference and essentially waste time and money on rah, rah content. So it'll be in the first comment or it will be in the link below.